Hello, collective. Next is Virgo. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Welcome to Pam Star Oracle. I'm Pam. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope I can give you a message. And I love you guys, and I thank you for my loyal support. I hope you all having a wonderful weekend. This is weekend readings for all signs. Okay, so next up, I pulled out Virgo. And your core representation as Virgo is service, knowledge, and intelligence. Your mind is like a hard drive full of categorized info. You are an impeccable communicator, and because of your caring nature, you desire to use your many talents in assisting others. Your essence is precision and a drive for perfection. You tend to analyze life's complexities and are able to synthesize and organize data. You are kind, devoted, and loyal. Your talents are in manifesting abundance by using your mind to be precise about what you want. Taking time to relax and believe in your desires will be fulfilled. So this this is your energy, Virgo, and uh, you know you're you know how to meditate and do shit precisely. You know it. What is something that? Oh yeah, wait a minute. I was going to do these first. Sorry, you guys. I'm trying to keep the cards the same so people don't get pissed. What is a twin flame and ascension for Virgo? For Virgo, I love you guys and. If you, when I get all the signs out, you can see if you're all matched any of your signs, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, so what it's saying is, ooh, and on the bottom, level 11 twin flame, everything is possible. You need to trust. You need to ask, listen, and allow. You need to ask. You need to ask yourself and ask the divine if this is right for you. And you need to trust with all in your being that 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 God is listening to you. Queen eight eight divine feminine. There you are, divine feminine. You need to. You just got to trust divine feminine and listen and allow God to work in your life. And if you think that this you might be in a karmic relationship. Well, you need to release that past, okay? You you might be needing to release this uh, past life karmic so you can um, go towards your queen, divine feminine. Or if this is you, Virgo, and you're divine feminine, you need to release that past so you can enter your vortex. You're aligning with infinite abundance. Look there. So, so the universe is trying to bring this down to to you but it's kind of like stuck because maybe you're in a karmic relationship okay this is going to help somebody i know it will it will help somebody today okay trust me and believe that it will and i love you virgos and i just need to uh let y'all know that everything will be okay. Trust, trust that the divine has a plan for you. Trust, okay? Trust, 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 trust. What is some of these cards for Virgo, please? Stillness. Hang on a minute. Trust. I love you, spirit. I like, I love you so much, spirit. Ooh, I didn't think it would say that. All right, but it did. Ooh, and cunning is on the bottom. So during the stillness, during all this stillness, and look, that looks like Aquarius. See the water? So during this stillness, you've learned to meditate. You put it in divine's hands. And, and here's trust again. Trust, trust, come out twice. So trust, trust this process. Trust that you're like this, you got beautiful hair like this horse right here. And, and, and you know that God is going to give you what was meant for you. In the stillness, you started trusting your love. And, and that message right there is for me. In the stillness, I started trusting my love. Yes, 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 yes. You had to be confident. You had to show how beautiful you are and trust your confidence and, and show that you're very confident, you know. And you got to let go of the ego. And, you know, you got to use your instincts. 
So you're very confident that you use your instincts the correct way and, and you know that somebody was trying to trick you or deceive you. Okay? So Virgo, you might be trying to trick someone or your partner might be trying to trick someone or somebody that you might have thought was somebody that you wanted to be with you know, like you might be in a partnership already and, and you thought somebody else was better and you used your instincts to get out of that trick because they was a cunning little cunning to something, okay? Because you have a twin flame. You start speaking your truth about it, okay? I don't know who this message is for, but it's for somebody out here who needed to hear. All righty. All right, now let me see what this says. Spew it, spew it. What's... What's something Virgo needs to know today, Spirit, please? And hang on, I had them upside down. What's something that Virgo needs to know today, Spirit? Please and thank you very much. Messiah. You're, you know how to serve humanity with humility. Judge. You. This is about balancing justice and compassion and managing the fire distribution of power. Networker. Enhances unity through the sharing of info and gender social awareness and empathy. Okay. And then we have damsel. You know, understand the nature of healthy romance. Inspires you to rely on yourself. Rescuer. Provides strength and support to others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation of reward. So what I think it's saying is, you, you have that Christ consciousness, you know, the Messiah energy. Um, you're somebody that knows how to judge. You know how to, you know how to judge the, you, you know how to distribute compassion. And somebody is watching you. There's somebody that wants to network with you. Um, it's going to bring about balance in your life. Um. Maybe you've been waiting for a night to provide for you seduction by romantic illusion. That's in the dark, okay? But I think that you started understanding what a healthy relationship was, you know? And you started relying on yourself. And and uh, and, and you, you're somebody that provides strength and support to others when they're in crisis. It, with, you don't care if you get no money. You're just someone that does that. And someone sees your good qualities, Someone sees your good qualities now. Don't think they don't, okay, Virgos? What else is something else for Virgo? Synchronicity. 11-11. Mysterious coincidence. Meaningful connected events. Slow down and pay attention to your surroundings. That's what you need to do, Virgo, okay? Slow down and pay attention to your surroundings. Because the universe keeps trying to give you clarity. You gotta surrender all control. Let go of expectations. Uh, woo, we go with the flow. Surrender the need to control external things that are just simply out of your control. The more time you spend trying to control something, the more it ends up controlling you. Free yourself and let things take its natural course. So you've been trying to control something from, but but you know the divine's been giving you clues. You know they have. But you also know that there's a deceptive person around you. Um, this is a friend of me. They've backstabbed you. And your gut has been trying to tell you to not trust this certain individual. Always trust your gut. It knows what's up. Be selective who you let in your inner circle. Not everyone who appears kind and generous towards you has your best interest at heart. See, I, I, I learned this. 909. See, I had to learn this, Virgo. And my Virgo knows this. My Virgo knows this. But me and my Virgo are twin flames. That's the truth. I, I speak the truth about it. I speak the truth about it. All right, now what else do we what else do we got to tell today, Spirit? Please and thank you very, very much. Oh wow, a lone magpie. I never seen this one. I love these little birds. They come around my house, I think. They might not, but I think they do. As the well known nursery rhyme, one for sorrow goes. A solitary magpie has been rewarded, has been regarded as a bad omen for centuries. Why a lone magpie should carry such a meaning, it's entirely clear. But magpies are known to often mate for life. 
So perhaps seeing a single one indicates that its mate may be dead, suggesting death and bad luck. Ooh. If you see a magpie on its own, make sure you greet it with a salutation such as, Good morning, Mr. Magpie, to eliminate the risk of bad luck. So this is unlucky in the UK. So this is bad luck. This is a box of luck cards. So it's got good and bad. And I didn't know, I, but these little birds right here, it's bad luck. Maybe you, maybe you've been with somebody for a long time, and, and you you've mated this person for life. But it may be saying that somebody might be getting ready to pass away. And and now don't, I don't know who that is, Virgo, but that's what that said. Now don't take it to heart. Don't let it bother you. I mean, if that happens, it happens. We can't. Th that's out of our control. It's out of our control when somebody passes away. And I know that. I know that stuff. Hang on, I'm going to give you one of my angel messages, and hopefully it'll help someone out here today in a collective. And do not steal it, you guys. I love you and everything, but this is a deck that is personally for me to read to you all, to help you all understand. And I might sell these to the collective one day, and I act, might actually just do my cards like, you know, uh, like this. Like, cool like that. I think that's cool, you know. Your angels gave you the gift of prayer knowledge. You know the angels help people that pray from a pure and honest heart space. That's how you got to pray. If you're not honest, well, God ain't going to listen to you. You got to be really sincere and pray and get down on your knees and cry a long time. And I know this. Your angels gave you the gift of bringing magic back to dying relationships. You have magical powers within yourself, and it heals the hearts of many people. You're magical, delicious, poof, poof. Poof, two hearts. Oh, two hearts. You might have a double mission, two hearts. Oh, and if you do, you're trying to choose. Well, I hope that you'll get your answer today. People look up to you because you're unique and inventive and a good person. You focus on your desires and needs. You manifest in contact. You're moving towards union or reunion with your twin. Your heart and mind are aligning. Keep an optimistic attitude about what you want. 1414, that's what it means when you see it, okay? And your angels gave you the powers to make people understand how it feels when you've been crapped on by many people that, that you've had encountered. But you also show them that you're always going to have a sunny disposition. You, 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 gotta, you can read auras, auras. I can. I, I know if somebody's telling me if they're being honest and living from their heart space or not. I know it. And your angels gave you the gift of laughter. The people around you love you for your laughter and spirit that makes everyone's day pass by with ease. Knock, knock. Who's there? Orange. Aren't you glad that we didn't say banana? 1313. <laughs> so that's what somebody wanted to say to you today, okay? They wanted to play with you. Who is it that Virgo is on their mind? Who is it? Six of Swords. Oh, crushed Shelly, that's what it said. That's Gemini Libra Aquarius. This is about your mental growth, changes in your perspective. A transition that opens your eyes to a new way of thinking. Open to change, move forward at your own pace. That's what you're doing. You're moving forward at your own pace like a snail. It's okay. It's okay to be a snail, Snelly Shelly. <laughs> Snelly Shelly, oh wow, ten of coins, you're moving towards slow, you're moving slow towards your family legacy, you know, this is travel, this is uh, a transition that you've set out, that you've set yourself and your family up for success, and I love you, Spirit, and I did do that for my family, and that's why that the angel said, 14, 14, we're aligning you. We're aligning you. Keep it in your mind. Don't, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. We're aligning you to be a success now, baby. Oh, gosh. Mad Max, the magician. You come out, Virgo, for yourself. <laughs> this is wildly inventive. The impossible becomes possible. You, you, you got the courage to do it. And make sure your, your higher brain schemes are setting you up for success. See, that's what you're doing. You're setting yourself up for success, you and your family. And I love you for that spirit. 
you're slowly building your generational wealth. You're setting yourself up for success. You had strength. Look there at your big damn muscles. That's all. Uh, what's her name? You can't really see it because it come off of here. That's muscular Murray. <laughs> you know, and this is about having the power, the strength, and determination to do this job that you're so passionate about or to get the life that you're passionate about. You can do that. This is your full journey. You know, this is your journey. This is your long life. You're, you're changing adventures, maybe. Watch your step and look before you leap and, and uh, get out of your wandering mind. That's what Rob Slob told you, okay? So you got the strength to get on this, to... Uh, to stay the course. That's what it's saying. It's it's a slow process. Look, it's a slow process. See, you're you're slowly progressing on your on your path, but you're 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 alchemizing the life you want. And God said that he, they're proud of you for that. Yeah, that's what God said. One more. One more. Oh, I love you, spirit. You're so wonderful. Here's your two 